so much for having me, Dr. Michael Kwame Orbank. Now, a word just came to me now that you're the only black surgeon in Beverly Hills, California. How true is that? Uh, in, in, uh, in Los Angeles proper, I probably know about four or five black plastic surgeons. Oh, wow. I don't know that many. And there are not many black plastic surgeons. Uh, how how I, do you feel about that? Does that spur you to want to deliver more and make sure that you're outstanding? Uh, not really. I think, you know, I look at myself as an individual. I just don't look at myself as a black person. And if I can give somebody hope and inspiration because I'm black so that they can emulate what I do, great. Yeah, and I've done that. You know, there are kids who will call me and write me and they want to follow my footsteps. Mm -hmm. And I will tell them what I did. So, you know, being the only black plastic surgeon in yeah. Beverly Hills proper, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm blessed to have what I have, I'm blessed to do what I do, and it just happens that I'm black. So. This is phenomenal. When you were a little boy, did you ever understand you'd be in a position where you'd be helping mankind, restoring the looks and appearances of people, I and mean, helping people gain confidence in themselves? Did you ever think about this? No, not really. You know, at a young age, I knew I wanted to be a doctor, but plus the surgery is something that came in the picture after inspiration from my precious smile. I knew I wanted to be a plastic surgeon so that I can help people. But I did not know the magnitude that it was gonna be. And you know, I've been fortunate enough to be able to help and restore people through my nonprofit organization, Restore. And Restore has been around since 2008. This is something that dates back to 1999 when one of my mentors, John Miller, mm -hmm. once approached me when I was a fourth year medical student. And John, Dr. Miller asked me, Michael, you're from Ghana, can we, we should go to Ghana and do free surgery. Oh, wow. And that's who planted the idea. When I was a fellow at Harvard, that's when the name Restore came to me. I wrote down Restore, I said, this is powerful. Now I had to give meaning to Restore. You know, and I was able to write down with the, guy, with the, with the guidance of God, restoring emotional stability through outstanding reconstructive efforts. And since 2008, we've been to Ghana multiple times. Nigeria once, uh, Gabon, Mexico, uh, Guatemala, okay. and we have done surgeries in excess of over five million dollars. That's and all this is done for free. No patient pays a penny. Yeah. This is my true passion. If I always tell my friends mm. that if I was wealthy, mm. this is what I'll do. Every every two months, I would travel to a different part of the world. And try to and help. help somebody. That's amazing. It brings me a lot of joy, amazing. a lot of satisfaction. And this is one of the prayers I said. The divine healer of the sick Christ Jesus our Lord, without whose aid we can do nothing. Look down with favor upon us about to perform this operation. Direct our minds, our hands, that our work may be praiseworthy unto thee and successful unto those who suffer. In all things that will be done. Amen. And this is a prayer of saying, look, patriarch physicians pray for us. So we believe in God and we believe that without God we will not be here today. Like now you had lots of people who discouraged you during the times when you tried and survived in the early days. Can you tell us about it? Every journey, every step you make, people are going to either push you or discourage you. People want to win on your parade. When you have a dream, they want to crash your dreams. But you know what? You can't achieve something without dreaming. Mm -hmm. And growing up, you know, growing up with the dream to becoming a physician at a very young age, you know, people will discourage you. You're not smart enough. You, you know, you're not good enough. And even trying to come to America to study, I was discouraged by family members that I, if I came to America, I, I wasn't going to get an opportunity to go to school because I would end up just like. Most foreigners who come to America and they end up working menial jobs because of the fact that we don't have the same uh, opportunities. Absolutely. You know? And but you know when you have your mindset on something, there's nothing you can achieve without with perseverance. There's nothing you can achieve when you have your mind and you have your focus on point. And with all the naysayers, all the people who discourage me growing up, and we just we have friends and very close family members. Mm. You know now. You look at me and say, you know what, I'm glad you did not listen to my words. I'm glad you followed your dreams. And, you know, I would, I would not be here sitting, you know, talking to you today without encouragement from some very, very important people in my life. My grandmother, 
My grandmother was a cornerstone. She was the matrix of our family. She held everything down and she encouraged me. May her soul rest in peace. I wish she was alive to see where I am in life. And mm. I never, not in my wildest dreams that I ever envisioned myself in Beverly Hills. Yeah. You know, so it's been a blessing and I'm glad that, you know, I persevered. I'm glad that I never listened to all the naysayers. And I'm glad I continue to work harder, even through adversities. And though some of these negativity can yeah. sometimes, Bring you know, you fuel, yeah. actually can sometimes motivate you. So I use that as a motivation instead of something to, you know, listen to and let them drag me down. So, and I'm glad they discouraged me because I wanted to prove everybody wrong. And even just to make the journey to Beverly Hills, I had a lot of people in my adult life say, you must be crazy to be moving to Beverly Hills. What makes you think you're going to survive there? There are so many plastic surgeries, which is true. Now, I moved from a town in Ohio where I was the busiest and most well-known plastic surgeon, and there were only six plastic surgeons in the whole town. Okay, fast forward. Here am I in Beverly Hills, where in this building, on this floor alone, there are four plastic surgeons. Okay, in a one-mile radius, there are over 250 plastic surgeons. But not only we thrive, we have succeeded beyond expectations. That goes to show you, with perseverance, you can conquer all difficulties. Nothing is unachievable Definitely. with perseverance. What legacy do you want to live in this world? I want to see Restore grow bigger and bigger once, you know, once I leave this earth. I want to leave the legacy of Restore so that it can continue to help people and restore hope, okay. restore life, and make people whole again. And that's one legacy I want to do. That's amazing. And I hope that this become a reality. Oh. I hope that if my children don't take it over, some other person will take it over and make Restore bigger than Well, like you said it. earlier, if you put your mind in it, you definitely mm -hmm. will accomplish it. And that's it. the plan. And that's why, that's one of the biggest reasons why I moved to Los Angeles, so that we can have a bigger platform. You can broaden your horizon. For Restore. This is it. Thank you so much. We usually do this a hug, not a sure, handshake. We do that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Martha. You want to show us around sure. your, your uh, practice? Yes, I will. Thank you.